Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve some line problems and we'll be looking at this figure. Now, when you look at this figure, the first thing we have to do is to look at the total external length and breadth. Now, the distance from here to here, we don't know. Distance from here to here, we don't know. Now, if you look at this symbol, in front of this 90, we have something like a square. So it means that the four parts is what? Is 90. So from here to here is 90. From here to here is 90. And from here to here is 90. So we'll first of all, draw that first and we'll tick in the line. So look how we go about it. So we'll take my rule and take my t-square and I'm going to draw a line this way, front line can you see that? that is my front line now I'm going to take my meter rule right so I'll place it up, I'll pick up a point here probably the point should be around this point here let me see here. So from this point, I'll take my set square, place it on my T-square, and I'll move it to that point. Right? And I'll draw my faint line, vertical line. As you can see. Now, I was told that all the sides are 90. So I'm going to measure 90. So it's always best you use your compass or better still use your rule now if i take the meter rule on my set square if i place it here if i place it here and i'll be having this let me take it down i'll place it on this point and from point zero I'll move it to 9 and this is point 0.9 here you can see that that is my point 0.9 all good so now on that same point I'm going to move my T square to this point so I'll place my T square on that point right and I'm going to drop so in drawing, I'll have this also. You can see that. So to save time, I'll do the same thing here also. Take my rule or my ruler, any one. I take this also and place it at the beginning here. So from here is zero where they meet. And I'm going to measure it up to what? 90. This is point 90 here. Right, if you look at it, point 0.90. Now, I'll do the same thing for the base here too. I'm going to measure point 0.90. So this is my point 0.90. Right, at this point here, point 0 0.0 to 9. This is my 90. And I'm going to join both of them together. So with my thick line, because it is thick line here, I'm going to take it from here to here. And I'm going to take it from here to here. And I'm going to take it from here to here. And I'm going to take it from here also to here. I have successfully drawn out this guy, the external part of it, which is this external part, 90, right? So the next thing I'll do is, if you look at this, it's telling me each of them is divided into 10 equal parts. That means from here to here is 10, from here to here is 10, from here to here is 10, right? And also from here to here is 10, from here to here is 10, from here to here is 10. So I'm going to divide 90 by 3. And 90 by 3 will give me 
if I divide 90 by 3, what will it give me? It is going to give me 30 millimeter each. Because I want to divide it into three equal parts. I'll be having 30, 30, 30. Are we good? So it is 30, not 10. So I'll have my 30, not 10. So collecting it, so there is 30, 30, 30 because it is divided into three equal parts. Are we good? So that one will give. If I take my metal rule, let me take the one you see very well. So if I take this now and divide it into three from here, from zero to three is 30. From three to six, another 30. Then this is 90 equal parts. I can do the same here too. From zero to three is 30. 30. Are you with me? Then 90. I'll come here so, the, so I'll join these two together using my thick line. From here to here, I'm taking it. So, so from here also, I'm going to take in here. This way. Right? So, one, two, three. Which is uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, right? So, I'll do the same thing here also. Replicate the same one here. So, I'll replicate it also. From zero here, I'll mark 30, another from 3 to 6, another 30, right? And we've done that. So in doing that, I'll come here also, I'll replicate the same thing, this is 0 to 9. So from here, this is 30, from here to another 30. So I'm going to join both of them together with my rule. So using the rule here, I'm going to join here, take in here, from here, then from here also, I'm going to join from here to here. Right? So I have successfully done that, which is what I have here. So I've divided into three, and I've divided into three. Now if you look very closely, each of this demarcation here, is divided into because if it's from here to here is 30 from here to here is 30 from here to here is 30 for me to have two equal division it must be 30 divided by 3 and that is 10 10 10 each also here to 10 10 so let's do this first 10 10 10 each so i'll do this i'll take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 10 each so from here i will have my 10 this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 also right so if you look at it not only here 10 10 here also maybe this one too the same 10 10 10 so i'll come here i'm going to measure 10 and 10 right so i'm going to draw them together so look at what i want to do from this point to this point i was taking from here and i'll stop here and I'll take it from here and I'll stop here. Go to the next one too. I'll take it from here. I'll stop here. I'll take it from here. I'll stop here. Can you see? So I have successfully done this too. Right? So I'll do the same thing for here too. So 10, 10 each. So I'll come here also. I'm going to measure 10 here. I measure 10 here. Measure 10 here also. I'll come down here too. I'll do the same thing. 10 here. And I'll measure 10 here. Right? So take my meter rule. And I'm going to join from here straight down. Stop here. From here straight down. Stop here. The same thing will happen here too. From here. Stop here. From here. Stop here. So you can see. I've successfully done this. This vertical line here. The vertical tick line. But the next thing is this also. I'm going to join 10, 10, 10. Horizontally. So place my rule this way. And I measure from 0 here. This is 10. And this is 10 too. Right? And I'll come here also. From 0 here. This is 10. And this is 10 too. So 
What I'm going to do is, I can be help of my teaspoon. I can just get this. Can you see that? And I'm going to take it from here, straight down to here. I move it down. I'm going to take it from here, straight down to this point too. Come to the next one too. I'll do the same thing here too. Take it from here to this point. Come to the next one. And I'm going to take it from here to this point. You can see that? So I successfully done this, this and this. Now it's remaining these two. Also 10, 10, 2. So to help myself out, I'll do the same thing. From here to here is 10. Then another 10. So come here also. I can use my T-square. I can measure that two point. So I'll just place it here. And draw from here to here 10. Then the same thing applies here too. Just like what we have here. What we have here. Right? I'll draw from here. Stop here. Leave a space. Then draw here too. So I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. So. From here. Draw. Stop here. Leave a space. Draw another one. Sorry. Correct yourself there. Draw from here. To this one here. All good. So you need to clean that off. Now if you look at this very well. Now if you look here. This line you see here is called an hidden line. So you are drawing this. How you do that? You take your metal rule from this ending to this ending here. You can see. You draw church. I guess we don't space they must be equal and evenly distributed. So from here equal and evenly what distributed. So this is our hidden line. This is how you draw your hidden line. So we are successfully drawing this out. Right? So if you look at it, this is what we are asked to draw. So the next thing you have to do, you might do your um your we call it the dimension line you can dimension it so in dimensioning you just take your meter rule you draw a line but the line must not touch the drawing you come here also you do the same thing the line must not touch the drawing right can you see it's not touching the drawing then you draw in from the beginning to the ending Right, like this. And the arrow should be very sharp. Very, very sharp. Then you write your, to your square this way. And you put your 90. It must not touch the line. Right? So you do the same thing for inside here too. So this is one of the line problems that we have. If this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.